The lacrosse season provides a series of ups and downs. Last night, the Dolphins experienced a down, dropping a game to a pesky Oregon team on the road. While the disappointing loss stings, the early morning flight to Los Angeles helps the team to leave the loss in Eugene, Oregon, the remote town the Ducks call home. Coaches and players alike have a limited time to regroup and focus their energy on a sunny Southern California day. It's a chance to hit the reset button. But the road trip doesn't get any easier as the nationally ranked USC Trojans await. For the Dolphins, the road trip continues. 3-5 K-Day. 90s hip hop. Back in the day. Back in the day. Let's go. This is Inside the Pod, a season with the Dolphins. After hitting the ground at LAX, nearby Loyola Marymount University has arranged a tour with the team. Sometimes to regroup, it's best to recall your roots. For JU coach Paul McCord, it's his connection to Philly style basketball and a relationship with basketball legend Bo Kimball. Bo's special to our team, and his story is the genesis of our program's success. The Loyola Marymount system, their inspiring run into the NCAAs and the Elite Eight is what it helped inspire me to try something different back in 2011 here at JU. The parallels of the two small university athletic programs don't end there. The system for the women's lacrosse team has produced five NCAA scoring titles and two records over the past eight seasons. Now in year nine of running the system, the team is looking to go further. It's maximum chaos, not only on the front end of the press, they have them scrambling, but even when they get it across a half court, we mentioned near the end of the game, the more points than any team right now on average. I love their second effort and their hustle, but what a... I mean, I can't get over that running game they have, the way they shoot the ball so quickly and they score, and Paul Westhead's got to feel like a million dollars. And what about Kimball and Gathers? Do you think they would like to have them over at the University of Southern Cal? It's California where Loyola Marymount is leading 124 to 96, and it has been another outstanding display of explosive offense. Jeff Fryer, three-pointer. is <laughs> Here, Loyola Marymount all over the defending national champions from the University of Michigan. Being giant killers is nothing new to the JU lacrosse team either. Last year, the squad KO'd Michigan and Ohio State in back-to-back -back games. And getting to see the school and where it all happened uh, was fantastic for team bonding and reminding us of who we are and what our goals are. Next stop for the Finns on the road, Bo Kimball's favorite Mexican restaurant in Venice Beach, and some downtime to prep for the rematch of the 2017 NCAA playoff game against the Trojans of USC. Thank you so much. Chloe, uh, you have my food. <laughs> Grab season and Lauren.
Game day at USC has come. The team's goals are simple, to rebound from the loss versus Oregon. The Dolphins need to play tougher defensively and in between the pipes against one of the nation's best offensive groups. Most of all, the team needs to play faster and with more confidence than on Friday night. USC's defense got away with a lot of extra physicality on their home field. JU held the lead after the first quarter and the score was tied in the second half. but a few costly breaks ended up helping the Trojans escape with a lead as the second half expired. The game came down to a few missed shots on both ends for JU and a couple of costly no calls in the opening half. Award-winning Hollywood producer and former JU trustee and alumnus, Frank Pace had encouraging words for the squad's efforts. Treasure these moments because they're gonna be gone too quick and these days and your teammates will be your friends for your rest of your life. I know where 15, 15 of my teammates are today and I can call them and lean on them and ask them for support whenever I need it. So value these days. It's a great place to be. You guys put on a great effort today. You didn't quit. You're going to win a lot of games throughout the year and I wish you nothing more. Thank you. Thank you. After losing both road games, the Dolphins can look at their game versus USC with a shred of positivity. The Dolphins were identical in all statistical categories to the nationally ranked Trojans. They held the lead in the first half and had an evenly played match for nearly 40 minutes. The effort was a vast improvement over the dismal showing in Eugene. A night in Venice Beach at the Santa Monica Pier helped soothe the team's wounds and remind them of their fun-loving nature. <laughs> Having fun comes naturally to the group and they quickly immerse themselves into the beach culture of two towns on the west coast. our player of the game in the middle, Beth Cornelius. So Beth, tell us about the game. What helped you to have a good performance today? Uh, I think just my teammates gave me a lot of confidence. It was my first college start ever. And they just told me to go out there with no fear, to have a simple mind with all of it, you know, not get too complicated and just play defense. It's an instinctual thing. It's our so. game plan. Yeah. Yep. Now. Now. Put your bill on that 
dolphin when she was 10. That's pretty you spot on. Oh wait, yeah, one more. One. It's a first trip west for most of the team and one they will remember. Coming up on Inside the Pod. So we're at in and out Burger in LAX. And then I always share with people that JU is winning championships. Player slips, that's Deacon with a shot and a score! The Lex is Deacon! JULacrosse.com is your home for outstanding summer camp instruction. Join the pod for our camps in Jacksonville, Florida in June or July.